Uh, when would somebody want to file a Chapter 7 bankruptcy as opposed to not filing at all? What's the reason why someone would file a Chapter 7? Uh, there, I guess there are a lot of different reasons. Uh, one would be, for example, if somebody filed a lawsuit against you and once somebody gets a judgment, and I think we've talked about that in one of our programs, we've gone through the small claims process and some other processes, but once, uh, once a creditor obtains a judgment, then they do what they call supplementary proceedings. That includes the possibility of attaching uh, a, a lien to your wages, wage garnishment, or of attaching to your bank account or any other assets that you may have. So if I'm struggling check to check, okay, to try to pay my family, and I know here, boy, I'm going to get hit, and it's going to be at least 15% taken out um, of my paycheck, I'm not going to be able to make uh, ends meet here. And so, you know, that would be a good idea to that would be a reason why people would file a Chapter 7, but I, I'm not going to do it for $1,500, okay, if, if that's the extent of, of my debt. I mean, you know, there has to be some kind of threshold. You know, what that is, uh, you know, it's up to each individual, but I think perhaps that, you know, it, it might be a little bit more than that. Why not allow that creditor just to take the 15% on an ongoing basis and not file? Well you are allowed to discharge that debt and generally people have a lot of other debt as well and most of the time they're lined up okay the first the, the way that it works with the garnishments is the first one through the door uh, that's the first one until that's satisfied uh, and then the next one is, is is right behind that stacked up and and a lot of times that's what happens so you can never really really get ahead so it's not just one creditor there's usually a series of creditors uh, there might be past due medical bills past due utilities Maybe or, a foreclosure, a repossession in their history. Exactly, or, or could also be a, a car accident because if, uh, if for example, you, you didn't have insurance, and, and of course, you know, it's law, everybody needs to have at least liability insurance, um, then then your license can be suspended. And, and then now, now you're in a real spot because how do you get to work? Uh, obviously, people in that position, in my experience, still drive, they're not supposed to, but their license gets suspended, and then the only way to take care of that is to satisfy the judgment uh, or to, to file a bankruptcy.